You are watching The Word Exposed. Stay with me for the next few minutes, and together let us marvel at the Word of God proclaimed in today's scripture readings. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we are almost at the end of the liturgical calendar. The Word of God is our hope and consolation, for it will never pass away. Daniel prophesies the day of judgment in the first reading. And in the letter to the Hebrews, we are reminded of Jesus' sacrifice for the atonement of our sins that is our sure hope. Then in the gospel, Jesus declares that the world as we know it would end, but that he would come again to gather us. Even now, let us learn how to find stability in Jesus amidst the uncertainties of life. According to Jesus, the Holy Spirit will not invent new truth. The Holy Spirit will lead us to the truth that Jesus has already taught. When you have the Holy Spirit, you can speak and explore different languages to address people of different needs. Barriers and boundaries of discrimination, division, and injustice should disappear. The diversity of the gifts should not be a hindrance to the strengthening of the church. God chooses all. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be an everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly, like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The Word of the Lord. Our first reading for this Sunday is taken from the book of Daniel. Let us reflect on hope for the future. We are coming to the end, the close of the liturgical year. And so the readings bring us to the future. But based on our day-to-day -day experience, the future is exciting. But the future is also uncertain. How do we maintain hope? as we face the uncertainty and the open-endedness of the future. The first reading comes from this uh, very mysterious book of Daniel. According to experts, this was written at a time of persecution. And so the language is quite enigmatic, very difficult to decipher. But the context tells us of what many of us fear. What will happen to us? What will happen to the earth? What will happen to our loved ones, especially the next generation? What future is in store for life, for humanity, and for the universe? This first reading gives a response of faith. How do we maintain hope? First, there is the promise that God will send his messenger, Michael, to protect the people, to be the guardian of those who are living in difficult times. This is one if not the most important element of hoping. 
facing a bleak future, even the future of persecution and suffering, hope arises when we know we have a God who is ever close and a God who has not forgotten His people, the God who will come to our rescue, the God who will send His powerful messenger, the angel Michael, to protect the people from harm. At the same time, there is another element of hope, the hope given to those who live in justice. There is a hope that is being offered to those who lead their lives in the midst of trials and uncertainties with a certain steadfastness, persevering in the right, knowing what is good and just, and living by that precept. There is a promise that those who live steadfastly in justice and in blessing will be saved. They will see the glory of God. They will see the light of salvation. Dear brothers and sisters, the first reading gives us those two. Hope is directed to God the ever-caring God. And secondly, there is hope when you remain faithful, steadfast, courageous. One day, you will see the light of salvation. 